come in. <laughs> well, the theatre was a gentleman's toilet many, many moons ago, until the 1980s. It was, and then it became a shop. People knocked all the stuff out from inside and it became a children's clothes shop and then a bric-a-brac antique shop. And one day he was closing down and I thought, I like the building, it's made of more than stone at the front. Got a lovely archway over the top. And I thought, why not have a miniature theatre? It's quackery Captain Strani, on various voyages, sets off from the nearest shore. A violin storm. That's not the norm. I mustn't crescendo the score. I said the idea to the chap who was running the, uh, the shop, and he said, well, why don't you try it? And so um, I went to the town council, I think it was, and uh, they said we want 1800 rent for it. And I, thought, I can't afford that sort of thing. Anyway, the town centre manager, uh, she phoned me up and said, let's talk. And she got us a peppercorn rent. A real actors out at sea, unsuitable shows. That's for me. Below the waves, voice all a quiver. It's that guiding bell, the deep sea diva. It took us two years. We got planning permission and um, we plastered the walls, filled the windows in, and decorated it. And we opened in 1999. <laughs> The theatre is made out of old furniture, all collected from sales and auctions and flea markets and anywhere really out of skips. Old table legs, an old window blind with panels I put in separately, sides of a harmonium, bits of door, old bits of broken violin, bits of lace I get from the flea market, old bits of camera, doll's eyes. Uh, my son painted the painting on the wall, lots of hidden faces in it. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Titus the Two Tall Dancer! I'm Titus the Two Tall Dancer, some call me the Silly Prancer. He makes no answers, not with the gods, Titus the Two Tall Dancer. I created this five minute formula where I do short shows for people that come in and get a theatrical experience, if you like in the theatre, which is different because you can walk off the street. It's almost like street theatre, but off the street. When I walk past, people stare. Make my puppets from lots of odd bits, for instance a glove, becomes the body of, well, this is Crow. This is part of the treadle of a sewing machine, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> it does operate extra days in the school holidays, but I don't think of the theatre as necessary just for children because I find that we get more adults anyway. Uh, and adults do like live performance and they do like this formula. You might say it's a form of haiku poetry or whatever. Perhaps they've got short attention spans, I don't know, like me, but you know, it works anyway. It's a different, a real different sort of atmosphere from a normal big theatre.